All right, so in this video, we're gonna review some of the Osana SBAs. I'll start with the written first. So for each person that has the written, yeah, Ezra. Each person that has the written outstanding, you need to have a title page, which is mechanical engineering drawing, school-based assignment, or assessment. And with this, you will have your student name, school code, candidate number, and category, manufacturing. So every person must have that. After the front page, you will have your health and safety plan, which most persons are working on. After your health and safety plan, you can either have fires and your design justification and your parts list. So those are the four main parts of the, S of the written SBA that each written assignment must have. So once you have put them together in one file, you upload them to the classroom and there is a new uh, section for them to be uploaded, which has today's date. So for the uppers, it will be posted under classwork, full SBA April 3rd and today's April 3rd. So that's it for the written. The same thing is in the lower fifths room where it has SBA April 2nd, so you can upload yours there. All right, so we're going to take a look at the drawings. And we will start with the theory. Some of these persons are not at school, so just use the video and complete. First issue that we have, you need to fix your layers. These are construction layers. These need to be outlines. What you have here as outlines need to be construction. Now, for your pattern plane theory, you are showing the inside of this bolt here. I think I explained this yesterday, but I'll repeat. So your pattern plane must come from here, right across, to the center here. And then it goes through the middle, through the middle, then it comes down. So this is the cutting plane that you are using, straight across, straight down. So with this cutting plane, we will be able to see the bolt in here, and we'll also be able to see the bolt through the middle. So the next thing is that these need to be in hidden detail for all of the drawing. Those are in hidden, and remember to change your layers. Over here, you have your bolt, you have your washer, now the bush, you have the incorrect measurements for the bush. The bush is radius 15. So this measurement here is too small. It needs to go out a little more to 15 from the center. And then it does not cut through here. So these are some small changes that you need to make. The next thing is you do not have a web. So when you look at your drawing, put in your web in the front view, the end view, and the crown view. Now up here for your section, the way you have it cut, you do not cut through uh, fasteners. So you will just see in here is cut and also up here is cut. You will see in here cut. The lines that just removed, they will not be removed, but in here will be cut. Same thing over here. Over here now should be hidden detail. The end view is not sectioned. So do not section the end view and just show all of these lines in hidden. I think I told you yesterday that your nut is too small and needs to be bigger. So hopefully you have changed that. Um, for this, I explained that these circles need to be removed. And once again, the layers need to be fixed. This drawing here is not finished. Here is an idea. Well, I'm not sure if I have any that are finished open. So you need to have the correct layers and you need to finish the circles at the top. Over here, you are missing the arcs for the second curve. And also, these arcs here are not correct. Pay attention, everyone. When I click the curve, I am seeing the center up here. So it means that these measurements are forged. So it's here you need to fix this, delete this, and do it over to make sure the measurements are correct. And many of these parts here are wrong, which need correcting. 
So I'm going to go to the other drawings so you can use some of the feedback from them. All right, Williams, your pictorial. Uh, this is pretty good. You're having your ascent lines, having your bolts, having the two measurements. That's correct. Over here by your exploded. This is what you need to do for your theory. Um, this is a hole, right, Nathaniel? So this needs to be double clip and change the diameter, diameter 10. So you have the measurement coming across the center, perfect. And now you need to dimension one of these holes here again. So everyone in this video, you need to make those changes. And for the most part, I'll just be repeating the same things over and over. That 10 is correct. We have the two radii. Okay, so this bracket is fine. You do not have though the name of the bracket, Nathaniel, and you do not have one off. Pulley, pulley one off. Pulley is perfect. Good job. The bush, perfect. One off. Main washer, perfect. The dimensions are good. So for those who are not finished, yours should look like this. All right, so for the support bolt, these are good. Pay attention again. So this has threads, so you need to make this change. Go to diameter, click the outer circle, and then you double click, and it becomes M10. All right, so that's the change. Whenever you have a bolt or a nut, you must have in your M measurement. This is a nut, right? So shouldn't we be able to see the holes, the hole in the nut? So we need to change this here to solid. Remember that this is for everyone to make sure it's correct. You're also missing the hidden detail in the front view, Nathaniel. So Thierry, when you watch this, you're using the information from Nathaniel's uh, to fix yours. So you should project up and you should have your hidden detail in the top. And then you just trim off. You need to do the same thing for the next side. Nathaniel, you understand? All right, so with that being said, these are pretty good. How are you doing? Okay. Okay, right, no problem. Can I send can I send a student to collect it? Okay, how much is it? Twenty. Okay, thank you. Alright. Anderson, go to the gate, please. There's a, a lady there with twenty dollars. So just bring it to me, please. Thanks, Anderson. Alright, so your pin is perfect. Now unlike all of the other students, Nathaniel has used a pin. Everybody pay attention. So what Nathaniel has done is he has a pin running through his drawing. Usually, most persons use a bolt, but as I said, the pin is just a long shaft and it has two nuts on it, okay? Which is good. Um, also, you're missing the line in here, Nathaniel. Right? These things are gonna affect your full marks. So you need to have your solid line in here. The purpose of this video, you pause it, you make the correction, and then you play the video again. So over here, these things need to be done. Israel, behave. So you got the pin, you got the two nuts. Uh, when I go to your parts list though, I should see your main nut. And you have two off, which is good. When I look at your support nuts, you don't have a number for them. So how many support nuts you got? Yeah. I can't hear you. Um, on, the, on YouTube. I can send it. I can send it. Sorry. All right. So I'll send it. No. Uh, with this, Theory, Israel, Paulette, Sean, 
you should use this information that is here in this video to fix yours because most of you do not have this in place all right so i'm gonna share this now to the chat it's yeah, so you don't refer no it's still recording all right i just shared it let me see, let me know if you see it first all right thanks Samson. all right so all right good support washer this is perfect you got a to these um so you should have eight support nuts okay you got it nathaniel no there are three videos with this content i would suggest that everybody watch each video all right um this is pretty good nathaniel you are actually almost finished so remember nathaniel you need to fix this put in the labels um i may have to open briggs's work again to show you the correct labels but there are some errors on this that we mentioned in the previous video. All right, so that's it for you, Nathaniel. I'll close. Um, going to Sean. Now, Sean, everything that I have mentioned, you have to do. Okay? In terms of the hidden detail in here. Look, Briggs. You see, you realize that Sean laying here? Oh. So look, look, look. Pay attention, guys. This is the line here, Sean. Right, so you gotta fix that. Yeah, sure. Right, so fix that and then put in all you hidden detail. You're missing a lot of hidden detail. So you got your nut, that's fine. Section is good. Cutting plane. This is the wrong cutting plane for this, um, Sean. Okay, good. Through the middle, right? Okay, good job. Also, remove the AA from this. This does not need a cutting plane. And the same error that um, Nathaniel had, you need to use your dim edit to fix these. Huh? Oh no. That's what I did. Is this how you're doing it, so, um, Sean? You gotta fix that. And then you come down here from the center, come down 10. And when you come down 10, enter, copy. You went to Miss Edmund, Israel? That's all she wanted for? No. She wanted the design for Israel. Okay, alright, alright, we So, moving on. Over here, Sean, look, the layers are incorrect. And you you have a lot to do. Okay? The good thing is though, Sean, is that I have explained a lot of what you have to do in the other videos. So we just go to Avron, somebody who is practically finished. You do not need to do what Avron did by having pulley end view, pulley front view. And this isn't even right, Avron. This is like the, the front view of the pulley. Here is bracket. <laughs> you're, trying, you're trying to get bunny points. Bracket front view. Let's tell you the front view thing, man. All right, so Sean, you understand? And you don't have any blender curves. So that needs to be done. Uh, Paulette, I need this paper clean, Paulette. Um, delete all of this and only leave any SBA. I feel as if yours is practically finished. May not. In there, you're missing hidden detail in here, Paulette. You realize that I said that for almost every drawing, right? So for the things that I'm saying to people, just do them for yours so that I don't have to repeat it for every single person. Over here, 10, 22, 18, not too bad, not too shabby. So Paula is missing the center lines. You understand? And his layers seem a bit off. Um, over here, he has a support washer, the main washer. One off is the main washer, that's not true. You should have four main washers. One, two, three, four. You should have four main washers. Um, pretty good Paulette. You don't have the threads here. These threads need to be included. And when we look at this drawing, you're missing the web. The hidden detail for the web is missing. These lines, which I explained in three drawings already, need to be a hidden detail. Um, and this needs to be sectioned. All right, theory. So you need to complete this and this, which is fairly obvious. I think I mentioned these already. 
and we'll finish off Israel. So Israel, once again, everybody has the comments that you need. You have done really good though with naming your drawings. This is a washer, so these things need to be solid. Remember though that you are not only um, fixing, and there's no threads in the washer. Come on, Israel. Extend. I gotta draw that over. So there are no threads in the washer. So just make sure that this is started out. And one of these needs to be moved from here. Uh, missing a lot of one of these hidden tails. Like project this across and move the incorrect one. Remember, do not only correct when I call your name. Israel has errors that were mentioned in other drawings. So correct from the other drawings, please. <sighs> so you need the web in. So good job here on having this web. So you project that across and decide what measurement your web is going to be. All right, um, I think I'm going to stop here. I am just repeating myself. So two important things. Uh, we will take a look at one of the last SBAs to finish this video. So this is the video of all videos. In your SBA, as we said, you need the written. Everybody pay attention. But we are going to have this problem scenario. This is the last, last thing that y'all are going to do. Now, in this problem scenario, you have answered this problem already. Question. When I say to find a means of securing the pulley to the bracket to allow it to spin, how did you secure the pulley to the bracket to allow it to spin? The middle bolt, right? Yeah. So what you will say is to um, allow the bracket to spin freely, allow the pulley to spin freely, I have placed a bolt. Find a means of connecting the bracket to the table. What do we do? Bolt it down. Bolt it down. How did you ensure that the uprights to the bracket are supported? No, no, web. bolt. The web. Good. So this person said, I will use a bushing to hold and secure the pulley. Then use a long bolt to hold it in place. I will use washers and a main nut to secure the pulley to the bracket. These are things you all have done. This is something that I will write to you on WhatsApp and you just write by the answer. Last point, the measurements of this drawing must be the measurements of your pulley. Wait, sir, so you want to all around it in that way, table? That yeah, way. I can drop these in though, so you don't have to put these in. These measurements have to be the correct measurements of your pulley. And the last one, see the two of these? Your blending of curves, your plane geometry has to be to these measurements, okay? And this drawing has to be to these measurements. All right, so with that being said, any questions? No, sir. You sure? All right, that's it for the videos.